And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Swain. Going to be our next version of a Zoe deck today. Yeah, it's it's kind of Zoe day. <laughs> we, we have three donation decks for all, all of them have Zoe, but they all play pretty differently. We just had the dragons with Shivana. Now we're going to be uh, dealing some more damage in non-combat damage with Swain. Uh, we're going to be playing a couple Blades Edge in here because of how popular Zoe is right now that Blades Edge can go ahead and be a one mana removal spell for a Zoe. So it's it's uh, pretty valuable for that. Plus it pairs well with a card like Ravenous Flock uh, for two cards and two mana. You get to do five damage to something. Um, you can also pair it with Scorched Earth, being able to kill a damaged unit. So that's pretty nice as well. Um, plus, it can, you can just use it as Nexus Damage, right? It's one to anything. So you can use it as Nexus Damage to stun something when you have your uh, leveled up Swain. Uh, let's see. And then you also have your, your uh, three Death Sand in here. That also is another way to do Nexus Damage to be able to stun things for your Swain. Um, and that's kind of about it. So, you know, we're just kind of combining some good Targon cards and Noxus cards. Put them together. We got a deck. So let's go ahead and play some Zoe Swain. We'll go play five games in ranked. All right, a Victor deck with Freljord. I could see this being like maybe some Poros. Maybe, I could see that. Um, so that's gonna go for sure. I guess we mulligan Leviathan. And um, yeah, I guess, I guess we mulligan Leviathan. I'm just going to send them all back. Maybe I should keep the flock. Prediction has started. Once I step paper, shell faces. Beautiful. Alright, so now this Ballistic Bot being a 1-2 means that we're going to be able to kill it with the Death Sand. The Culling Strike can be very useful for getting rid of Victor. It could be a Poro deck. I was calling a Poro deck. Wow, really is a Poro deck. Really is. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. <laughs> Radiant strikes. Cool. Need to heal that three on our nexus. Alright, we got our finishers with these Leviathans. Um. I let my wounds too long. They don't have any more created cards in their hand currently. I disappear. Behold my work! So they still have these daring poros. The future is steel and science. Mm. Well, that's too bad. Man, that's really too bad. I just use that cooling strike, but I'm gonna use the cooling strike on that elusive that's going to kill me. Like, I, I can kill either of these, or I, sorry, I can use either of these. Um, I guess the flock. I don't know. Um, 
But this doesn't look good. Ooh. That could be a good draw. Maybe not. Maybe the deal four, deal one. Okay, so Golden Sister, you know, has the life steal and it also makes the blocker, but I won't be able to play that until next turn. But then, you know, by that, then I'll start, I'll start having like the Leviathans. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. So if I get this, I can deal four, deal one, and then you know now one of them's damage for the scorched earth. For later. Prepare the cargo. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. My spirit shines. Clumsy design. Mm. They weren't scared. Oh man, I just... I guess that was a really bad attack. I guess that just killed me. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, I guess that, that attack just killed me. So it would be interesting to see what they would have if I if I didn't make that attack and if I could block all three of these and you know scorch shirt this one, you know what would they have? You know they would put me down to one right now and you know would they had something to kill me? Uh, but I threw it away. With that attack that didn't matter. All right, this is gonna be a. Uh, uh, it's gonna be a, probably a longer game, Karma Thrash. All right, let's keep our cards that can invoke. Basically, any card that can produce card advantage. I want to keep those. People are pretty ready for that turn one Zoe. Perfect. Sunlight guiding I want the Traveler because I want to just keep on invoking. My spirit shines. It's too late for you. Just get stuff damaged. I will play my part. Not going to necessarily use that. The mountain knows me. I am the traveler. I think I'd simply attack. See what they do. Coaling strike's gonna be saved for Thresh. There is a Thresh. Where there is life, there is hope. Okay, we'll use our uh, Ravenous Flocks for this. That's it, GG's. Man, opponent was not patient at all. They just wanted to throw down their champions, kill their champions, and they were done. That's it. That felt like a, an opponent that, like, picked the wrong deck, you know? Right, like, whenever they, like, hit play, like, they accidentally chose the wrong deck, and they are like, okay, well, I'll try it out. But whenever things didn't go their way, they were done. 
Okay, we got a mirror type match. They got Twisted Fate, I got Zoe. They have Bilgewater, I have Targon. Hush is definitely gone. Keeping Pale Cascade because the draw. And then obviously the Sentry Flock combo. Okay, channel point prediction available. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Thank you, Gucci. Great draw. I like that house spider quite a bit. Didn't know the boss had said for me. Don't know much, do you? The dead don't need riches. <laughs> So we both had two drops that brought something else along. They got a powder keg, I got a 1-1. One, one. And looks like my 1-1 one, one is better than their powder keg. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. If I kill you, I don't fart you, stupid. Hmm. Curious on why they passed me and then played that. I'm always up for a round or two. Something for all of you. Doing some trade in. Where you got Swain? Zero? That's not very many. There's that five. We'll go to four. Let's go with Traveler. Oh, we'll go Warrior. My stars guide all travelers onward. Loyalty through conquest. Alright, we're in an okay spot. Not the best, not the worst. Okay. You are shedding a bunch of hair, puppy. Alright, so I don't need to worry about, you know, like, being able to block Pale Cascade the Swain. Culling Strike. They could respond to that with damage. Um. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. So I got some options here between Culling Strike, Pale Cascade... That kind of stuff. Them good. Let me just let this damage happen, though. They only have three cards. Good. So this would mean they would have to have another another card that dealt fast speed damage with the four mana, which is certainly possible. The safer thing, I mean, I guess this, the safer play is to Pale Cascade my warrior instead of the Culling Strike. Yeah, that's, that's probably just the better play. Hmm.
Okay. Victory awaits. Queen down. And while I could kill the, this thing, then we wouldn't heal our Nexus for five. And decided to do that. Save the flock for the sentry. That's a really good card for them to have. Like, like this is just a perfect time, right? Like, for that card. Hoping they do not have Leviathan. There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. Excuses for war. They should throw. And we can just open attack and do six. We are at war. Which sounds pretty good. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Alright, Gucci. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. And that'll do. Opponent packs it up. We are two and one. Praise the Noctora. Remember this day. Alright, same matchup. So the cards lined up for us last time. Will they line up for us again? Alright, Blade's Edge can go. Pulling Strike can go, even though it's good against Swain. And I guess it kills Swiss of Fate also. Maybe I should keep it. Maybe I should keep it. I like the Nexus healing with the Sunforger against the Bilgewater Noxus. Ugh, I don't know if I really want two Sunforgers, though. Wasn't me. Hmm. Let's go with the trickster. What you doing over there? What you doing over there? Blades Edge. Man, everybody's playing Blades Edge these days. Everybody's playing Blades Edge these days. Like a fish in water. <laughs> All right, so we'll just go ahead and calling strike that. Um. Okay. They don't have the block for my Zoe. They got the removal. And I don't have very much to do this turn. I'm not going to just play a lifesteal thing. Yeah, I got, I got kind of nothing to do right now. Loyalty through conquest. Um. Yeah. Hey, Patek. This one's not lining up as well as the previous one did. Just draw the card. The 
is angry for action, I I promised a bloodbath! All right, we got Blade's Edge to go along with the Scorched Earth. That'll kill the Swain. My legacy. <laughs> Our Swain's at one. So they have one additional card in hand than what I do. Oh, uh, no, that's not great. By my hand, you will Noxus rise. You wanted wrath. Channel our power. You and me, let's go. I was hoping they'd be a little bit more scared. And take some damage. They were not very scared. And blocked them both. Not great. Not great. Yeah, not gonna lie, it's not great. Looks like the cards lined up better for them this time. They lined up good. They lined up better for me last time. I think, like, last game I mulligan Sunforger. This game I definitely should have mulligan Sunforger again. I think that was a big mistake that I uh, did this game. It was not mulliganing Sunforger. Where's card in our deck? Hush. Hush just doesn't matter in this matchup. I will break them. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. I can like hush my own thing to be able to block. Which looks like I may have to be able to do. Yeah, looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. Yeah, both Ezreal, Twisted Fate, and Swain, Twisted Fate are, are just fine. They, you know, were a lot better before. I probably prefer the Swain, Twisted Fate here to the Ezreal, if I had to choose one. Hey Thomas, GG's. So the Cosmic Rays does get rid of all these things, but we don't behold a Celestial card, so difficult to cast that. Um, so it looks like I'm just gonna take the Destroyer, cause you know, it's like the card that we can play right now. Future Swain that we do find will be leveled up. 
if that will matter. Unlikely it will. Nope. We weren't dead if they just attacked. Because I would be able, I would hush the Swain so the Swain would do four damage to me, and then we would block we would block the Leviathan. And so we would go down to three and with a with them having a dead Leviathan. But obviously we we're dead to like everything, and they played something, and so we died. But it It was. Okay, so we're playing a Zoe Mirror. This they're playing a really insult with Freljord. These hushes have not been looking too good. Okay, we could have some house spiders. House spider was was a really good clutch draw for us in our our win um, against the twisted fate deck. Right, prediction. I'll get that up. Yeah, I need to mulligan those four mana cards last game. Hmm. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. So I think they're a Targon's peak deck. Definitely a Targon's Peak deck. So th my main problem with playing Priestess this turn is that next turn I don't get to Fallen Comet a Targon's Peak. Um, maybe I just don't Fallen Comet a, a Targon's Peak though. Bask in her radiant blessing. Because I, I may need like these Fallen Comets for the Aurelian Souls well, also. Glad they didn't play an avalanche. Hold still. Yep. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? Bastion. Vision to see what others can. More Targon's Peaks? So I'm saving Blade's Edge because of Aurelian Soul. I, I need to use Blade's Edge to blow up a spell shield and then um, and then Fallen Comet. But they do have this charger that, that gets to block right now. Hey, what's up, Jack? Yeah, it's Zoe Day. No, just we had we just had all the donation decks for Zoe's today. So it's Zoe Day. Mighty Dragon, the Celestial sends you an urgent message. <laughs> I just. 
And this is why, because of Aurelian Soul, is why I didn't play anything else before this. But yeah, both of these things, She Who Wanders, Aurelian Soul, both costing zero. Means they still have all nine mana, so they can still play something else. <laughs> like that. Um, it will hopefully run out of cards soon. 19? Gross. Don't exactly help. We're at three. So now by using that other Pale Cascade, it doesn't actually use the... Uh, it won't get rid of the Spell Shield on the Zoe, because it won't target it. And we really saved a whole lot of mana there. Maybe I should have done Equinox. That's nine for Zoe. Oh yeah, there's Zoe deck. All right, so mine's leveled up. That's not cool. Man, Aurelian Soul is so busted. Or is so busted. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, I need to cast that! I forgot that was changing... Oh, I forgot that was a Swain's Ravenous Flock. Oh, I need to cast that on the Zoe. I guess I can... Oh, no, I need to cast that. Need to kill that Zoe. Cause then I'll at least I'll at least have two blockers for the two attackers, right? I do love an audience. Your slow speed. Not a good chance that we win because they have a really soul. So like we we almost certainly lose, but I mean I would just throw away everything. Yeah, like we were gonna lose, but okay. So there there we go. There's Zoe Swain. It was kind of caught in the middle, you know, like with that the Zoe, you know, like the Zoe invoke stuff, and then like your Swain damage stuff. It didn't look so good together. We um, we weren't a very good Swain deck. We saw our opponents, you know, like we played against a couple of Twist of Fate Swain decks. They were a much better Swain deck, but we we really struggled leveling up Swain. And um and then, you know, as far as the Zoe deck goes, we were okay. We were a pretty good we were like a pretty good Zoe deck, I guess. Um You know, like Targon's Peak is just ridiculous, right? And a really you know, Targon's Peak plus a really soul just ridiculous. Uh, but I liked how I liked how we were with the Zoe deck. But I think we need more ways to deal damage, honestly. Like that's that's what we were uh, struggling with, is getting Swain to level up. Um, there's just not very many things that deal damage. Like Death's Hand doesn't do very much damage. Culling Strike, Scorched Earth, those things don't do any damage. Um, you know, none of these Targon cards deal damage. Um, 
yeah, and so I was I was pretty disappointed with Death's Hand. It didn't look very good. Um, it's supposed to be in here for having like a leveled up Swain. I didn't like it very much though. I think that I I really think like that that with this deck with Targon, I just think you need to be playing Sunburst and probably like multiple copies of Sunburst. Um, this gives this gives you like a real way to level up your Swain and also, um, you know, be a re reliable removal spell. Um, Hush really didn't look good. I I would I would take out a Hush for a Sunburst and a Death Sand for a Sunburst. Both Hush and Death Sand were the two cards that underperformed the most, especially Hush, um, with more people playing damage based decks and and everything like that, less Lee Sin and Fiora running around these days. Plus, Sunburst is awesome against those kind of decks anyway. And so that's Hush has just been a card that in a lot of decks I've been trimming. But with this kind of deck where you have all this removal anyway and you have like uh, good removal with like Scorched Earth and now Sunburst, I think I think you can really trim on Hush. Um, so yeah, so that's that's one little change that I would recommend doing. Um, but besides that, besides that, it looked okay. Um, Sunforger also didn't really look very good. It's it's kind of hard to pull off, and then just like the the five four body didn't matter that much. I would just play a third star shaping and just get rid of the, and get rid of a Sunforger as far as like Nexus healing, and then honestly, I may just may just kind of cut those anyway and just play like Guiding Touches or other stuff like that. Um, I think with Sunforger. It's really nice to have the fight spells with this, but without the fight spells, the card is a lot worse. But um, so there we go. So, but that was Zoe Swain. I think I think just to start with, I think I would just make that that small uh, those small changes there. Just play a third star shaping over one of the Sunforgers and get two Sunbursts in here instead of a Death Sand and a Hush. So if you try this deck out later yourself, uh, give those changes a try and let me know how they go. Um, all right, but that's it here for Swain, for Zoe Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.